Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another PossibilityStorm.com puzzle, and this puzzle is absolutely absurd. If you thought any of the last puzzles were too easy, this one is specifically for you. This is one of the craziest board states I could ever imagine. We got mechanized productions on God Pharaoh's gifts and planeswalkers and anointed processions, tons of blockers, weird triggers. This one is going to be a challenge. So like usual, I'm going to give you the quick overview of the puzzle, give you a couple rules, give you a chance to pause the video, see if you can come up with a solution to this incredibly tricky puzzle, and then I will jump back in and let you know the answer. So first off, the one and always rule of PossibilityStorm.com puzzles is you gotta win this turn. There's no, well, we'll draw this, pass a turn, hope our opponent draws nothing, then next turn we'll do this. Gotta win this turn with only the cards we have available to us. In this puzzle, that is the cards on the battlefield, the cards in our hand, and also some creatures in our graveyard, thanks to our God Pharaoh's gift. So keep that in mind. We are at 11 life, which is relevant to this puzzle because our opponent has a Trespasser's Curse on the battlefield. So not only do we have to kill our opponent, we got to make sure we don't somehow kill ourselves thanks to the Trespasser's Curse. And our opponent's at 13 life, so we gotta get our opponent to 13. However, that's tricky too, because if we have creatures enter the battlefield, our opponent gains life. Ashes of the Abhorrent can potentially gain our opponent life if a creature dies. So there's a ton of triggers to consider. So just because the life total says 13 and 11, doesn't mean that's all you have to deal with, because there's going to be lots of triggers going on in this puzzle. So with that in mind, take a minute, pause the video, see if you can come up with the solution to this week's very tricky, very triggery PossibilityStorm.com puzzle, and I will be right back in a minute to give you the answer. Oh my god, so how did you do on this puzzle? Did you come up with a winning line, a way to take the game this turn? Let's talk about what's going on on this super convoluted battlefield. So on our opponent's side of the battlefield, they have a total of eight blockers, including four, four, four Queen's Agents, which not only are big and blocky, but have lifelink. So we got to keep that in mind as far as attacking. Our opponent would gain a ton of life if we attacked into those. More troubling, our opponent has two enchantments, which are really throwing off our math here. So Trespasser's Curse drains us for one so our opponent gains life we lose a life whenever we have a creature enter the battlefield since we are enchanted ashes of the abhorrent gains our opponent life whenever a creature dies so if we just kill all of our opponent's creatures somehow our opponent's going to gain a ton of life so we got to keep all this in mind as we're trying to construct our line that even though our opponent's only at 13 life they're kind of at a much higher life total if we actually make any game actions because we're probably not going to win just on the battlefield. Our battlefield, we got one creature, a PNLR. No way that PNLR is going to be able to win on their own, so we're going to need to play more creatures, which means drains from Trespassers Curse. Stuff might die to get blockers out of the way, life gain for matches of the opponent. So we got a lot of problems to deal with. The good news is we have four God Pharaoh's gifts thanks to Mechanized Production, which means we can technically get back four creatures from our graveyard. Thank Thankfully, we do have four creatures in our graveyard that we can potentially get back. Gear Seeker Serpent, Reckless Fireweaver, Storm Sculptor, and Temet Vizier of Nukamun. Remember, all of these will be coming back as four fours with haste, since they're coming into play from God Pharaoh's Gift. Also, we have an anointed procession on the battlefield, which means if we get back one creature, Reckless Fireweaver, let's say, with God Pharaoh's Gift, we're going to get two copies of it because of anointed procession doubling up the token that God Pharaoh's Gift makes. Otherwise, we have a Hawali Warrior Poet as our Planeswalker, can maybe deal with some blockers with the negative X ability, make a dinosaur, I don't know if that'll be worth it. We have a total of seven mana along with... A handful of strange cards, a Dustborn Sky Marcher, a Gilded Sentinel, a Registar Alpha, which makes two creatures, remember, with the Hasty Dinosaur, and a Merciless Javelin Ears. So how in the world can we deal 13 life to our opponent, accounting for all the life they can gain with Trespassers Curse, Ashes of the Abhorrent? 
I think it's got to take advantage somehow of our God Pharaoh's gifts. I mean, we got four God Pharaoh's gifts. There's got to be a way that we can use those God Pharaoh's gifts to assemble the win because I don't see a way that we can win with the creatures from our hand. Like, look at the creatures in our hand for a minute. Let's say we cast Regisar Alpha. That's going to put two creatures on the battlefield, which seems great. Like, yes, we get a hasty dinosaur. That's amazing. The problem is our opponent's also going to gain two life, so they go up to 15. We go down to nine. We spend most of our mana to do that. Uh, we spend five of our seven, only leaving us two mana left over. Even if we just get back all the creatures from our graveyard, the problem's going to be our opponent has all those blockers, including all the huge lifelinking blockers, which means even if we double up Reckless Fireweaver, double up our Serpent, double up our Sculptor, Tema actually doesn't double up because it's legendary, so we legend rule ourselves. We'd have a total of seven 4-4s four with haste if we just got everything back from the graveyard. Combine that with a hasty dinosaur, the problem is our opponent's just going to block, and we're going to drain ourselves into oblivion. Our opponent's going to gain a ton of life from Trespassers Curse, so I don't think there's a way we can just, like, cast the stuff from our hand and win. We're going to have to get really deep and do some really tricky stuff. So here's what I'm thinking. So step one, we use... Watley's negative X ability to keep one of our opponent's creatures from blocking by pinging it for one, even though it's not going to die, and then we kill our own Pianilar to get it in the graveyard for potential God Pharaoh's gift shenanigans. So the end result of this is our opponent's going to gain a life from Ashes of the Abhorrent. So we're still at 11. Our opponent goes up to 14. So step two, we go to combat. We get four God Pharaoh's gift triggers on the stack. Step three, we use our first God Pharaoh's Gift Trigger to get back our Reckless Fireweaver. So we exile Reckless Fireweaver, get back a 4-4 copy of it, except we also have Anointed Procession, which means we get back two 4-4 four, four copies instead of just one. However, downside is this is going to double trigger our opponent's Trespassers Curse. So we get two Reckless Fireweaver 4-4 four, four token copies. Our opponent gets to drain us for two, which brings the life totals to nine for us because we go down to up to 16 for our opponent. So next step, we use our second God Pharaoh's Gift Trigger to exile the Pia that we killed with our Huatli, getting a 4-4 copy of Pianilar. But, of course, just like with Reckless Fireweaver, we get two copies instead of one thanks to Anointed Procession, which means we're going to get drained for two thanks to the Trespasser's Curse, which brings the life totals us down to seven, point up to 18. Legend Rule comes into play, which means we only actually get to keep one Pianilar, which triggers Ashes of the Abhorrent for our opponent, putting them up to 19. So 7 and 19 with life totals. Then we get two Pia Enter the Battlefield triggers, which makes Thopters. But each is making two Thopters because of our Anointed Procession, which gives us a total of four Thopter tokens. Trespassers Curse drains us four times. We're down to three. Opponent goes all the way up to 23. However, we have those two Reckless Fireweavers. They each trigger four times which means we actually hit our opponent for eight points of damage, bringing them back down to 15. So to recap, after this step, what we're left with is one 4-4 four, four Pia Nalar token, because we had a legend rule one. We also get four Thopter tokens out of the deal, two from each Pia Nalar token, thanks to our anointed procession. We get drained for eight, which is a little disappointing, all the way down to three. Our opponent gains eight, but then we immediately hit them for eight thanks to our Reckless Fire Reaver trigger. So when all this craziness is said or done, the end result is we have the two 4-4 four, four Reckless Fire Reaver tokens, we have a PNLR, we have four Thopters, our life total is three, our opponent's life total is 15. That's on top of the stuff that we already had on the battlefield. So let's go to God Pharaoh's Gift Trigger number three. God Pharaoh's Gift Trigger number three, we exile the Gear Seeker Serpent. It, get a 4-4 four, four copy of it, which of course doubles up into two 4-4 four, four copies thanks to our anointed procession, which drains us for two with Trespasser's Curse, so we drop all the way down to one. One point of life left, opponent goes back up to 17. Obviously, we can't get back a creature with the fourth God Pharaoh's Gift Trigger, because if we get back another creature, we're just going to die to the Trespasser's Curse. So what do we do from here? First, we use all of our mana, every single one of our seven mana, to activate Pia Nalar's ability seven times, sacking all of our God Pharaoh's gift and three of our Thopters, which means our opponent can't block. We get rid of one blocker with Hotly, the other seven we can make not able to block with our Pia Nalar, 
putting us down three of our four Thopters, all of our God Pharaoh's gifts, which we don't need anymore. And of course, this triggers the ashes of the opponent for our opponent, which means they gain three more life. They're back up to 20. So the life total is one to 20 now. However, we can go attacking. Remember, all of our God Pharaoh's gift tokens have haste. None of our opponent's creatures can block. We attack with Penalar. That's a 4-4. Four, four. Reckless Fire Weavers. Those are 4-4s. Four, two of them. That's 12. We have two 4-4 four, four Gear Seeker Servants that are also hasty, which means all together, that's five 4-4s four, four with haste. Pony has no blockers. Pony's at 20 life. We swing with the team, and that does it. We get our opponent. So it is convoluted and requires a lot of draining, a lot of life gaining, a lot of convoluted life totals. So maybe the easiest way to do this one is pull out a pen and paper and write down the life totals as you go, because there's a lot going on. But we don't even have to cast a single card from our hand. We can do all of this with the help of our four God Pharaoh's gifts, and we don't actually even need the fourth one. Three God Pharaoh's gift triggers is enough to win the game from this board state. So did you come up with the answer? Could you figure out this super trick? tricky, convoluted, trigger-happy puzzle. Let me know. Let me know what you came up with. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's PossibilityStorm.com puzzle, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video! If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.